Okay, here's a look at X Transbots Shock Trooper Fury, which is their version of a masterpiece scaled run about figure. So you could see this is another nicely sculpted, nicely painted figure by X Transbots. So, first, as always, let's take a look at the box. So, here is the front of the box with the nice artwork there of runabout in the Statue of Liberty background and the back of the box you get your G1 style artwork with the bio and tech spec which you can pause and read if you're interested in that and then the side of the box we get a close-up artwork of his head right there with the schematic drawing of the alt mode the other side we get his uh, quote here it says Straight roads are for fast cars. Turns are for fast drivers. Uh, okay. And then the top of the box, you get your X Transbots logo. And the bottom of the box, we get a preview of their masterpiece uh, scaled Ironhide figure that they're working on. And... Uh, yeah, I'll just share my thoughts on that later on. But that's a look at the box. And then in terms of the accessories, he only just comes with one, just the uh, handgun or hand pistol, which is the same as Run Amok, just uh, painted red, nicely sculpted, very cartoon accurate. And then we get his uh, bio card which is my favorite with the nice uh, artwork there of Runabout. And the back of the box, you get your bio and tech spec, which you have to zoom in to pause and read if you're interested in that. And then last, as always, we get the instructions booklet. And I wanted to point this out. Um, if you have a they're run amok. You could take the instructions and put them together to form a nice uh, artwork here. I forgot what this is called. Uh, yeah, when you take the two images and put it together. But yeah, you could see it's a nice artwork. So, you know, if you throw away your boxes like I do, you still have it. And the back of the box, I mean the back of the instructions, just like the back of the box, you get your uh, G1 product uh, G1 style artwork with the product uh, with the bio and tech spec. So here is the instructions, and you could see it comes with just uh, one accessories. Some of the features here: the the hood opens and these rear lights. They can rotate, giving you a different version of the lights if you want. And then the transformation, which is always an issue after decades and this figure is no different um, uh, there are uh, some issues with the engineering design of the transformation and uh, you have to be very careful when you're manipulating this figure otherwise you're going to cause some stress and tension when you're bending and stretching plastic and you might break something but anyways uh, that's a look at the instructions and what it comes with. So now let's uh, take a closer look at the figure and see. This is, uh, like I said, another nice looking figure by X Transbots. Uh, this one is actually more cartoon accurate than their runabout. So first let's uh, compare this with the animation model and you could see they did a nice job capturing the uh, cartoon aesthetics the shape and proportion is more cartoon accurate than their runabout or run amok which uh, is a nicely sculpted figure it just looks more realistic this one the shape and proportion looks a little bit more uh, cartoon accurate but anyways let's take a closer look don't drop the figure and see the nice uh, lace sculpted rims which are painted uh, in that uh, chrome and has the rubber wheels 
uh, in here I could tell you right now this is one area you need to be careful the side view windows the type of plastic don't use this to pull open the door because it might uh, break and uh, this is kind of unfortunate the uh, side view mirrors are not painted that would have been nice if it was painted silver you can see here's one of two gas tanks uh, the detail on the door handle and then the rear lights so here first take a look at the rear lights you could see it has some nicely sculpted lines and they gave you the option to rotate this if you want so then it's a uh, all smooth uh, I guess that's nice it doesn't really need to be there but you have that option if you're interested I, I like the nicely sculpted version so i'll leave it like that look at the uh exhaust pipes which are nicely painted uh really nice they do a nice job look at the transparent red windows really nice i like how they also uh gave you transparent window for the back unlike their uh run amok uh, which was painted <laughs> so yeah the, you know you have to you do a comparison between both of these two figures because they did some things different which are better and worse on each one so just wanted to point that out and then the hood does open exposing the engine which is not painted <laughs> so again they do like weird things their run amok is painted but this one's not and then i think to expose the headlights it's easier if you have this open and um just get a little gapage here and um push back on the back part of the lights and then lift it up and yeah again they could have designed it with the little nubs to make it easier but here you could see <laughs> look at that nice transparent uh plastic for the headlights which are sc nicely sculpted also look at that really nice even the sculpted grill here the painted uh side view lights so yeah again they do a really nice job sculpting and painting the figure even the little windshield wiper really nice and then yeah i was telling you don't pull it open here this one does not have like a little slot for your fingernail but you could see there's a little tab extension you use that to pull this out let's do it on both sides so we can get some more light going in here um get your nail in there open it up and then here's another difference what they did this full window they made it so that it's easier to pull out by putting the tab uh perpendicular to the floor so it slides in if you remember run amok has a circular tab that goes up which you have to push this down causing stress and tension here which is not good so here uh, they made some design changes that uh, works better and but it works better in uh, the vehicle mode but in alt mode it's different i'll show you in alt mode the issue with that but let's take a look here you could see the nicely sculpted seats there which is a nice feature and then you do get the steering wheel and i know some people are have issues that uh, this little square cut out is just to accommodate for the steering wheel which I do agree with some people that you know they, they shouldn't have done that they did it just for this uh, interior de detail and consequently this happened so it's just their design choices are, are just uh, always raises a lot of questions but anyways, that's a look at the uh, vehicle. So really nice. And you can see it does roll really nice on rubber wheels. And so let's compare this with uh, a figure in alt mode. So here we have uh, Takata Tomy's uh, masterpiece Hot Rodimus. <laughs> Hot Rod. So you can see 
yeah these it looks it looks nice right um hot rod was always kind of like a bigger car so he looks a little bit bigger a little bit wider but you could see it scales nice with your masterpiece uh figures so that's uh just a comparison in alt mode so now let's uh transform him into robot mode and take a look at that okay here's a look at runabout in robot mode and let me first just tell you that i was able to transform this with no issues but uh, let me make it clear that um, there are issues with this figure. The only reason why I didn't have any uh, difficulty is one, because, you know, this is very similar to their run amuck figure, but there are some little design changes that they made with how this uh, um, transforms. But um, the bigger thing is when I was uh, manipulating it, I know right away there are parts like uh, his side view mirror. You need to be very careful because of the type of plastic. You don't want to break it. So as an example with the door, you don't want to pull on the side view mirror. You want to try to find the different slot uh, to be able to open this door. This door, there's a little groove, but this one, you know, there's, uh, you could see that little extension on the door. There's a little tab there to help open it up. Um, and then throughout the figure, I notice, you know, there are other things like the way these um, armature uh, manipulates, you know, for the back of the uh, car is a little bit different than run amok. So right away, I know certain areas you can't bend and twist it. So a perfect example, I'll tell you, like the thumb. You know, people instinctively think that you should be able to pull this thumb down, but then when they do, they break it. Kind of like some people, how they broke their big load thumb here because of the same thing. You need to carefully look at it to see how it manipulates. And right away, you could tell his thumb does not go down. So I already know, don't push down. So that's what I'm telling you throughout this figure. Uh... I had no issues because I could tell right away how things move and manipulate. So I adjusted it accordingly. And I wanted to tell you all of that because um, that's something very important you need to be aware of uh, if you don't want to break this figure. Because I know there are people out there who break their figures just because they think, oh, okay, thumb went bend it down and it breaks because it doesn't bend down. And that's what I'm telling you, it's throughout this figure. But you also need to be aware of the type of plastic too. Um, yeah, so just wanted to share all that because that's uh, very important to know. But anyways, uh, you could see here he is in a straight pose. Here he is in a dynamic pose. So these guys look really good together. That's why I got this because we do need a masterpiece version of Run Amok, Run About. And X Transbots has delivered that to us. Uh, and, you know, it does look great both in robot and um, alt mode. Although this one is more cartoon accurate. This one's more realistic alt mode. So there are little differences here and there. I don't think I'm going to be able to point out all of them. But they designed the uh, feet to transform a little bit different. And if you recall... The issue in alt mode trying to open up this full window is a little hard because the tab, it's a circular tab that tabs up into the top of uh, the uh, canopy here. And that's what makes it difficult to pull out. And you can see here it holds in. But they did make some design changes here. They designed it so the tab goes in. So it's easy to pull the this full window out in alt mode but consequently let me do it here this is going to happen in robot mode because it they made the tab go in in and out this way if you're not careful it's going to tab out so you could see the benefit of having a tab in so in robot mode it stays locked in uh, but in alt mode, it's kind of, yeah, kind of have to bend it to pull it out. So, yeah, hopefully you get my point there. It, they did the, uh, something different. So you have the opposite issue with both of that. So that's just a, another example. So I'm not going to go through everything, just pointing out something, you know, you need to be aware of it. 
I said no issues, but that's because, you know, I'm very aware of what I'm doing when I'm transforming it. And so, you guys, if you transform it, you need to take the same approach. Just carefully look at things before you start twisting, bending, pulling things to have no issues. But aside from that, articulation is pretty much all the same. Although, I will say the tolerance here is a little bit tighter. I'm not sure why. Um, so, you can even hear the squeak. And I know some people are having issues with the thigh rotation. And I have the same thing. I have the same issue. This, uh, I'm just going to say there is no thigh rotation because you cannot budge this. Um, so, yeah, I'm not even going to risk it. Maybe it is purposely like that or maybe it's too tight. Who knows? I'm not going to mess with it. But anyways, pretty much the same articulation, the head. And then um, arms can go up and down. And here the tolerance is t uh, fixed. And that's because... Um, the screw so just letting you know if it ever things are loose you're gonna have to use their screwdriver and tighten it up and then you do get bicep swivel I laugh because again it's for some reason this one's a little bit tighter 90 degrees uh, elbow bend there um, you do get uh, waist rotation it is, yeah, it's okay. It's uh, this one's is a little loose. Thankfully, not mine's is not as loose as uh, deluxe bald one. You do get a uh, ab crunch. You do have to be careful when manipulating it because uh, the tabs here that hold the back and the front together, there's a little tab here. It it doesn't really tab in very securely. So just like up here, just a little bit of manipulating, things will just come untabbed. So. That's just uh, an issue you need to be aware of. Nice uh, ratchets for the legs can go up and down. Hip skirt, you can go out to the side. No thigh rotation. You do get a double jointed knee bend. And here I'll tell you, I did have to tighten it up on this side, this screw, because it's it was loose out of the box. And then you do get your ankle rocker and you can use this double hinge bar here to articulate toe tilt up and toe tilt down so yeah and then again the tolerance this one you could see it's much easier to uh, articulate uh, his foot whereas runabout for some reason this is this right here is really tight and when you're manipulating it, you're going to have to be really careful. But anyways, I don't want to start rambling on and on. I can just point out all of the issues here. But overall, uh, if you know what you're doing, um, you can uh, have fun uh, posing and articulating this figure so that uh, you don't have uh, much issues. Yeah, this is where it needs that thigh rotation. So he's going to be a little bit more in a... Uh, straight stance and let's see get a nice dynamic see again this one because they made it slide in and out which is easier in alt mode in robot mode it tends to come out like that so yeah um it's interesting how they chose to do things a little bit different like that but what is cool is how these are not exactly the same that there's variations even with the way they designed the shoulder transformation, the feet transformation, they're different, which I think is really good, good because it's good to have um, variations. So just giving you a look all around uh, the figure. So that's a look at runabout in robot mode. Okay, so for some comparisons, Let's uh, bring them out with some other x Transbots figures. Again, let's bring out their uh, uh, Scourge, the uh, 2.0, or their uh, reissue, the repaint, redeco. And uh, let's bring out their uh, reissue, repaint uh, Cyclonus. And uh, you could see what this looks like trying to back up so we can get a nice group shot here so you can see what this looks like <laughs> this looks uh yeah uh this is 
why I got it because you could see these guys they look really cool and right in the middle there uh, waiting for their Galvatron so that's going to be really cool so you could see what this looks like really nice uh, looking set so that's a look at the comparison with the other masterpiece figures and then now let's just do another comparison here with uh, the War for Cybertron version so you can see what this looks like. This is kind of cool. Uh, really like how that looks. And then also the uh, Takata uh, Transformers Adventure one so you could see what these guys look like. And then of course I showed you last time on my run amok, uh the Transformers Collector's Club exclusive, which I am not going to uh, transform it, but you could see what uh, Run Amuck Run About looks like in robot mode. And here they are in the alt mode. And again, I was, I'm tempted to get the uh, G1, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see. But anyways, here's a look at that. So you can see what this looks like. These guys look really cool. Again, I'm saying many times, but that is the main reason why I got this. Because you could see, yeah, these guys look really cool. So now um, I'll just share my opinions on this. Um, you know, x bots. I said many times, um, you know, their figures look great in robot mode and in alt mode. But uh, as everyone knows, their engineering design for a transformation is really bad. Uh, after decades, they still have not uh, improved it. But, you know, that's just, I guess, the way they want to design things. But uh, that's the main reason why I got it. Because you could see these guys, they look really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's great to have this for my Season 3 Decepticon collection. And, um, uh, my final thoughts, uh, in terms of recommendations. Well, you know, I don't give recommendations because if you want it, you'll get it. If you don't, you won't. Uh, but if you're collecting the, uh, Masterpiece, uh, Season 3, um, yeah, I, I think this is a, a must-have, at least for now. Because these uh, make great fill-ins, at least until, you know, fans' toys maybe will eventually make their version. But anyways, that's uh, my final thoughts and review on uh, the Run Amok figure. Looks really great. And, um, yeah, just uh, looking forward to their Galvatron and uh, really happy with this set. So, that's my final thoughts and my final review on the x Transbots Runabout. We're two of the hardest charging dudes the Decepticons got, and what does Galvatron give us? Huh, duty on this dinky planet.